Hello, I'm Miss Hayden and welcome to um, virtual story time here at the Barlesville Public Library. And those of you that have watched before know what we're about to do next, so please join me. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I hope everybody's good. We're going to read a couple of stories or waiting over here. And like normal, the viola is over there. So we do songs in between the stories, just like you guys remember. So let's get going. Our first story, Cat and Bunny. The book almost matches my shirt. The background cover of the book, I should say. Um, and this is by Mary Lundquist. Cat and Bunny were born on the same day of the same month in the same year. Right from the start, they did everything together, just the two of them. They daydreamed together, they rode bikes together, they had lunch together. And they had lots of adventures together. Friends forever, said Bunny. Just us, said Cat. Cat and Bunny's favorite game was the one they had made up, called the Made Up Game. They played it every day, and only they knew the rules to it. Good move, said Cat. Your, tur your turn, said Bunny. Then one day Quail asked, can I play? Cat wasn't sure. Bunny said, yes, of course. Soon all the children wanted to play. Bunny said, of course, to each one. Cat didn't say anything. Bunny was having too much fun to notice when Cat ran away. Cat sat, Cat sat all alone, waiting for Bunny to find her, but Bunny didn't come. Then she heard a purr and a rustle. It was a kitten. She wasn't alone after all. Soon Cat was playing a new made up game with a new friend. Can I play too? asked Giraffe. Cat thought for a moment. Of course, she said. Once Cat showed Giraffe how to play the new made-up game, all the children asked if they could join in. Cat said, of course, to each one. The last to come was Bunny. Can I play the new made-up game too, he asked. Cat smiled and said, Of 
force. That was the end of Cat and Bunny. And you know what that means. Time for singing. Okay. <clears throat> and those of you that watch know what we're doing first in terms of songs. That's right, Twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> second song we sing almost every time but it's fun so we're gonna do it and you guessed it it's if you're happy and you know it if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it and your face will really show it if you wanna if you're happy and you know it clap your hands <laughs> Anyway, so you guys can stomp, clap again, whatever you want to do. different. Okay, I think we should do Are You Sleeping next. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Now you can do the doors opening and shutting or whatever you want to do or the horn going beep beep. <laughs> that one and I think we should wrap up with the alphabet song A B C D E 
F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? <laughs> way too long. <laughs> okay. So, back to stories. Our second story is George Shrinks. There we go. It's by William Joyce. A different William Joyce than some of you might be thinking about. One day, while his mother and father were out, George dreamed he was small, and when he woke up, he found it was true. His parents had left him a note. It read, Dear George, when you wake up, Please make your bed. Brush your teeth and take a bath. Then clean up your room and go get your little brother. Eat a good breakfast. And don't forget to wash the dishes, dear. Do your homework. Take out the garbage and play quietly. Make sure you water the plants and feed the fish. Then check the mail and get some fresh air. Try to stay out of trouble. And we'll be home soon.
love mom and dad. Okay, that was George Shrinks. So, we've done our stories and songs for today. Thank you for joining me. I do want to point out that we do virtual story time every Monday at 11 a.m. here on the Barb's World Library Facebook page. We also do in-person story time and that is over in the story time room here in the building. It's on the other side of the building, actually. And we do that Wednesday at 10 and 11 a.m. and also Thursday, 10 and 11 a.m. And uh, Laura typically does those. Anyway, so I'm gonna check these books in that I just read. If anybody wants to come get them, they can. Otherwise, I hope everybody has a good week. And I will see you next Monday. Have a good week. Bye.